वेलकम टू अनादर वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द अनादर सब टॉपिक ऑफ द टॉपिक नंबर टू मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट दैट इज फ्रूट्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग फ्रूट्स इन डिटेल नाउ सी इन एंजियोस्पर्मिक प्लांट्स फ्लावर्स विथ फंक्शनल कार्पेल दैट इज गायनोशियम जनरली गिव्स राइस टू फ्रूट एंड फ्रूट इज द सीड बेयरिंग ऑर्गन ऑफ द प्लांट एंड इट डेवलप्स आफ्टर द प्रोसेस ऑफ पॉलिनेशन एंड फर्टिलाइजेशन नाउ सी दिस इज द डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फ्रूट दैट इज ग्रोथ ऑफ फ्लावर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल पार्ट्स देन पॉलिनेशन प्रोसेस दैट इज पोल एंड ट्रेवल टू द फीमेल फ्लावर फीमेल पार्ट दैट इज स्टिग्मा एंड देन फर्टिलाइजेशन प्रोसेस फ्यूज इज द पोल एंड विद द फीमेल ओ विम टू फॉर्म एम्ब्रियो एंड देन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सीड एंड देन देर इज अ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फ्रूट विद द कवरिंग्स नोन एज एक्जोकार्प मिसोकार्प एंड एंडोकार्प सो दस आफ्टर फर्टिलाइजेशन द ओवरी इज मॉडिफाइड इन टू अ फ्रूट एंड ड्यूरिंग फ्रूट फॉर्मेशन द ओवरी इन लार्जेस्ट दैट इज साइज ऑफ ओवरी बिकम्स लार्ज एंड वॉल ऑफ द ओवरी बिकम्स वॉल ऑफ द फ्रूट एंड द फर्टिलाइज ओव्यूल आर ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू सीड्स हावेवर इन सम फ्रूट्स फ्लोरल पार्ट्स लाइक कैलेक्स थैलामस पेडैंकल पेरियंथ आर रिटेन एज इट इज दैट इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल परसिस्टेंट कैलेक्स इन बेंजल एंड विदानिया थैलामस परसिस्टेंट थैलामस और फ्रूट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ थैलामस इन एप्पल और पेडैंकल इन कैश्यू नट एंड मार्किंग नट पेरियंथ इन पाइन एप्पल एक्सेट्रा वेन ओनली ओवरी ग्रोज इन टू फ्रूट इट इज नोन एज ट्रू फ्रूट बट वेन द अदर फ्लोर पार्ट दैट इज कैलेक्स करोला एंड्रोशियम और थैलामस दे आर इन्वॉल्व इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फ्रूट इट इज नोन एज अ फेल्स फ्रूट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन केस ऑफ एप्पल द थैलामस गिव गेट यूनाइटेड एंड फॉर्म्स अ फ्रूट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सो दिस इज नॉट अ ट्रू फ्रूट दिस इज अ फ्रूट फॉर विद द ड्यू टू इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ अदर फ्लोरल पार्ट सो दिस इज अ एप्पल इज अ फेल्स फ्रूट समटाइम ओवरी मे ग्रो इन टू फ्रूट्स विदाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन वी नो दैट द जनरल प्रोसेस इज दैट दैट मेल गैमेट दैट इज पोल एन एंड एग फर्टिलाइजेशन लीड्स टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सीड्स बट समटाइम्स द ओवरी मे ग्रो इन टू फ्रूट विदाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड विथ और विदाउट पॉलिनेशन सच अ फ्रूट विदाउट सीड और विथ इमेच्योर सीड्स इज कॉमनली नोन एज सीडलेस फ्रूट और पार्थेनोकार्पी फ्रूट For example, banana, grape, guava, apple, etc. This Parthenocarpi is of widespread occurrence, especially among species which have large number of ovules per ovary. For example, papaya, guava, etc. Nowadays, Parthenocarpic fruits can be produced by oxygen treatments. The seeds in such fruits are pseudo seeds. Thus. the parthenocarpic fruit should not be considered synonymous to seedless fruit so now we can define fruit as the matured and ripened ovary with seeds possessing embryos so uh, definition of fruit shows that this is the ovary which is mature and ripen as well as it consist of seeds and these seeds consist of a living embryo which will uh, further develop into new plant when seed germinates so let's see what are the different parts of fruits so look at the diagram the parts of fruit there are two main parts placenta and pericarp again placenta is uh, divided into four parts that is seed testa endosperm and embryo 
while the pericarp that is covering of a fruit is divided into epicarp mesocarp and endocarp now see the fruit wall is known as pericarp it is nothing but a modified ovary wall pericarp is dry and single layered for example in case of peas and beans or it may be fused with seed coverings that is testa forming a covering known as hull for example maize rice wheat etc in some cases a pericarp may be differentiated into three layers the outer epicarp middle mesocarp and the innermost endocarp the epicarp is generally leathery and mesocarp may be fleshy for example in mango or a uh, fab fibrous in case of coconut so this is the diagrammatic representation of pe pericarp of different fruits uh, look at here in case of mango the pericarp is divided into three parts where epicarp is leathery mesocarp is uh, fleshy or uh, it is pulp uh pulpy and the inner endocarp is a uh, stony so uh, in tomato also it is uh, pericarp is having three parts exocarp mesocarp and endocarp now endocarp is close to seed and generally hard in some cases these three layers fuse together and form a fleshy covering if pericarp is dry it breaks open and disperses seeds and such fruits are called as dehiscent fruit for example uh, in case of uh, okra that is bhindi when uh, the bhindi get or okra get dried after that the it open ups due to dryness and so the seeds are get dispersed so in such cases uh, the fruit is called as a dehiscent fruit for example uh, such uh, it is found in cotton pea and in fruit wall if the fruit wall does not break open at maturity such fruits are called as indehiscent fruit for example mango or coconut if we dry mango or coconut the seed does not come outside or the uh, epicarp or mesocarp does not break and gives rise to seed but uh, they are remains in uh, enclosing seeds within them and such a fruits are called as uh, indehiscent fruits next to pericarp the lumen of a fruit that is placenta is present on which seeds are arranged in single seeded fruits pericarp and seed covering test are remain free from each other for example mirabilis clementis in some cases pericarp and testa are fused for example in case of maize and wheat in some multi seeded fruits the placenta become massive fleshy and fuses with endocarp and mesocarp so seeds remain scattered in this fused mass for example brinjal and tomato look at the diagram of tomato fruit given here the section shows the placenta funiculus and seeds here the placenta of a uh, tomato uh, becomes massive fleshy and fuses with endocarp and mesocarp so that seed and seeds remains scattered in the fused mass now let's discuss regarding classification of fruits uh, we found the different kinds of shape size and nature of fruits and these fruits are uh, classified on the basis of different characters in different groups now see fruits are classified on the basis of first that is number of flowers involved in formation of fruit how many flowers togetherly form a fruit this is the first criteria second criteria that is part of flower involved in formation of fruit that is from which part of flower the uh, fruit is formed for example uh, as we discussed like uh, uh, either ovary is responsible for formation of fruit or thalamus or other floral wall so this is a second criteria that is part of flower involved in formation of fruit third uh, basis is a nature position and number of ovaries involved in formation of fruit next one nature of pericarp number of seeds in fruits and mode of dehiscent of fruit that is 
break open fruit after maturity it is called as a dehiscent of fruit and this uh, character is also considered for the classification of fruit now generally uh, fruits are classified into two major group that is true fruits and false fruit where uh, the fruits which develops from the ovary are known as true fruits for example mango and uh, the uh, when other floral parts such as calyx perianth peduncle or thalamus are involved uh, with the ovary in the formation of fruit then such fruits are known as false fruit and the best example of false fruit is a apple and on the basis of number of flowers on the basis of number of flowers from which they develop the fruits are classified into three major groups that is simple fruit aggregate fruit and multiple or composite fruits here a simple fruit is developed from single flower with single ovary and pistil is monocarpellary or polycarpellary syncarpus and the example is sunflower while the aggregate fruit is developed from single flower but with many free ovaries and pistil is polycarpellary apocarpus many uh, carpels are present and they are free from each other and in an aggregate uh, aggregate of small fruitlets is known as itario for example it is found in mycelia or strawberry uh, or we can say uh, sitaphal that is anona and third group that is composite or multiple fruits here these fruits develop from many flowers of single inflorescence so whole inflorescence or many flowers of a inflorescence togetherly responsible for formation of fruit that's why these such fruits are called as composite fruit or they are called as a multiple fruit because multiple flowers are involved in a formation of fruit and the complete inflorescence modified into a fruit for example fig Uh, banyan tree uh, fruit of banyan tree is a composite fruit or jackfruit or a pineapple or morus alba that is uh, morus alba uh, the plant used for uh, silk production uh, to feeding a silk worm so the fruits of that plant is a composite type where the whole inflorescence or the uh, many number of flowers are responsible for production of a single fruit now let's uh, we will discuss in detail regarding these uh, types of fruits in next video